time as an inexplorable force serves as the unseen guide for every object and phenomenon in the universe. Its impact not only transforms all things, but is also intertwined with the constant changes of life. Through each passing second, time regulates both growth and decline, shaping the stages of existence. Human beings, as a part of the natural world, are inevitably subject to the influence of time. The progression from youth to old age constitutes an ongoing journey with each stage offering lessons on strength and vulnerability. Aging, an inevitable companion, leaves its mark on faces, health, and even on the soul. Concerns about mitigating the negative effects of time have fueled the quest for longevity. Scientific and medical efforts are underway to explore ways to delay or even reverse the aging process. From studies on genetics and cells to methods promoting positive thinking, Humanity is aiming for the goal of living longer and healthier lives. In this pursuit, the Hayflick limit has become a crucial point. In 1961, Leonard Hayflick, a biomedical researcher, discovered that cells can only divide a certain number of times before stopping, explaining why unlimited life is not possible. He found that telomeres, the end segments of chromosomes, shorten with each cell division, and when they become too short, the cell ceases to divide. Research on the Hayflick limit is unveiling new insights into the mechanisms of aging, laying the groundwork for studies related to longevity. While we may not escape the effects of time, understanding and effort allow us to choose a meaningful life and explore new boundaries of health and lifespan. Who is Leonard Hayflick? Leonard Hayflick, born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania on May 20, 1928, emerged as a prominent figure in the field of biomedical research. His parents, Edna Hayflick and Nathan Hayflick, both worked in the medical field, fostering his passion for science and biology. The pivotal moment that ignited his scientific curiosity occurred in his ninth birthday, when his uncle gifted him a chemistry set. During his teenage years, Hayflick's parents built a small biology and chemistry laboratory in the basement of their home. Attending John Bartram High School in Philadelphia, he displayed profound knowledge in chemistry to the extent that he could correct his chemistry teacher's mistakes. Hayflick is said to have commenced his studies at the University of Pennsylvania in 1946, but he postponed his education to fulfill military obligations. Upon returning in 1948, he resumed his studies. After graduating in 1951, he was hired as a research assistant in bacteriology. Despite the satisfactory nature of his job, he developed a preference for the academic environment within the University of Pennsylvania, prompting his return to pursue a master's degree. Upon graduation, he secured a doctoral scholarship in the field of medical microbiology and chemistry, completing his PhD in 1956. A Serendipitous Discovery In 1958, at the Worcester Institute, Hayflick embarked on researching whether virus could induce cancer in humans. This led to extract viruses believed to cause cancer and introduce them into healthy cells in search of conclusive evidence. To ensure unbiased results, he had to use multiple samples, implying the cultivation of a greater number of cells. While working with cell cultures, Hayflick noticed something peculiar. A group of older cells ceased dividing, leaving him perplexed. Although these cells did not die as they continued metabolic processes, they ceased dividing. Upon examining other cultivated cell lines, he observed that most cells stopped dividing after approximately 50 rounds of cell population doubling. Contrary to prior understanding that all our cells continuously divide, this experiment left Hayflick to discover that, after each division, the telomeres found at the end of each chromosome progressively shorten. When reaching a critical length, cells cease dividing. Until that point, scientists believed that the natural aging process was connected to the origin of life, a concept still not fully understood. Discovering these aspects of cells, Hayflick shifted his focus from cancer cell research to gerontology, the study of aging. In two years of research, he found that cellular aging was related to the age of human body, explaining why we only live around 125 years. His groundbreaking paper titled the Continuation of Longevity of Human Cells and Culture was published in 1961. In another study, he examined cells collected from various body parts and compared cells from adults and fetuses. 
The results indicated that cells would divide about 40 to a maximum of 60 times before ceasing. Once they stop, they undergo senescence and die. A similar process applies to humans as they age, and this is the cause of natural death. As the body undergoes senescence, over time we will perish. This theory was meticulously detailed in Hayflick's paper, where he highlighted the length of telomeres in different cells may take varying amounts of time to shorten to the point of halting cell division. The Scientific Significance Behind the Discovery Some cells undergo only 40 divisions before halting due to the length of telomeres, indicating that each DNA possesses unique characteristics. This implies why some individuals age faster than others, all determined by genetics. Comparatively, when correlating with a person's age, when cells reach the 60th division, it signifies that the individual is equivalent to the age of 125. Thus, individuals with longer telomeres in their genes are theoretically expected to have a longer lifespan. A cell can complete mitosis, or undergo doubling and cell division only around 40 to 60 times, before undergoing apoptosis, leading to cell death. Since our bodies are composed of cells, this explains why death due to aging is inevitable. Additionally, the research illustrates that, with each doubling and cell division, the cells themselves become more fragile, weaker and less effective in the process of mitosis. This serves as a perfect representation of the human aging process. Over time, as we age, our bodies weaken, and all senses, including vision and hearing, decline. Most importantly, the wound healing process slows down, and cells take more time to regenerate. With time, everything becomes slower and more challenging. The process of seeking immortality, both before and after the discovery of Hayflick Limit, is the journey of humanity in confronting the mysteries of aging and life. Before Leonard Hayflick opened the door of understanding, humans spent thousands of years pursuing the secrets of longevity, exploring every avenue to overcome natural limitations. Curiosity about how to maintain youth and health throughout life has driven research in traditional medicine and even spiritual journeys. Diverse cultures and religions around the world have brought unique methods, from meditation practices to the use of herbal remedies, in the hope of finding the secret to immortality. After the announcement of the Hayflick Limit, attention turned to understanding the aging process of cells and how to keep them more youthful. Researchers and scientific groups worldwide are striving to explore ways to intervene in this process, aiming to develop new therapies and methods to keep the human body healthy and youthful. Although we may not have fully unlocked the secrets of immortality, this journey continues to prompt humanity to ask questions and seek, defeating time and discovering new possibilities for the future.